hi this is dana and on my channel on this channel i speak about uh spiritual warfare um i do now uh, the third video about uh, different concepts and uh, divine wisdom and i talk about uh in this video about death suicide and uh, particularly uh, necromancy as um practice with darkness essentially um i decided to talk about this because of a comment which i received uh on youtube uh, about somebody uh, from somebody i don't know who that person was uh and i think actually god guided me to, uh, that is somebody one of my attackers who is under judgment and um punishment of course uh and uh is not coping well with <laughs> with this although i guess he was coping very well with attacking me for years but anyhow that's not the point uh though i think it's a topic which is very useful for everybody um and divine wisdom um it's essential i believe for all of us for those of us who have been attacked but also for the stupid ones who have been attacking us uh, because um, there must be an end to all of this madness. Um, I believe in ascension. I believe in God's strategy. Um, I don't have empathy uh, for anyone who's been doing this harm. And I don't buy their excuses, always blaming others. I know from ex uh, personal experience that God is trying to help each and every one of them if they were tricked or deceived. Um, but they insistently choose the wrong path. Uh, and God always shows me why, because I keep always asking why, why he, this one chose this way, what that, why this one chose this way. And God always shows me that usually they are being tricked only because of their own faults of character, you know, like an individual is faced with um, a lot of peer pressure to do something wrong. Uh, and God is um, bringing his way somebody um, of light. To help him make the right choice uh, but then that individual will choose the wrong way um, because uh, of greed for money because of greed uh, for status for power uh, because of greed for um, shallow fame god says always shallow fame um, because you can gain fame with working with god that it's a well-deserved fame but then if you prefer to steal fame from others and to harm them to steal their own birthright then that's a shallow fame because you don't deserve it you stole that ranking from somebody by doing harm to that someone so that's a shallow fame because it's uh, with darkness associated to it and it will drag you down anyway uh, anyhow i don't really have empathy for them or any kind of pity because i i have seen throughout my spiritual fighting it's their own doing because their own faults because they don't want to stay the right uh, on the right path but anyhow uh, still the topic it's important and even if they made the wrong choices sooner or later one way or another uh, they must change they must stop doing harm this is a time of ascension um, these vicious circles of dar uh, darkness uh, creation and sending uh, to others must stop and this is the purpose of our spiritual fighting to put an end to this uh, this is why we're breaking the bondages we don't do this out of uh, pure joy to see them suffering and punished we do this because we deserve justice um, and because this must end um, it's not a revenge thing it's, it's just uh, a normal a pursue of um, justice of divine justice um, and um, talking about the topics uh, that I uh, stated now death suicide and necromancy I have to say uh, some things um, uh, on my uh, prophetic writing uh, Facebook page you will find writings in which I describe detailed um, these uh, topics uh, uh, it's much easier always in writing because I keep going back and forth and correcting some concepts according to God's guidance. Um, here in videos, I usually don't really have time to go even back to listen to my video or edit or anything. 
I also don't have the technology to edit my videos right now. Uh, but also I um, make these videos under uh, a lot of uh, spiritual attacks. Uh, so I really don't have the time to go back on them, even if I would have the technology. So I just post them, uh, upload them exactly as, as I make them. Um, this is some of them actually are um, not uh, as I would prefer them to be. Um, now, talking about death, what people should know, or maybe talking about suicide first, God shows. Um, when you talk about suicide, you must know that this comes from, from darkness. There is a type of darkness which essentially does levitation on you constantly to break you down. And as I said in the previous videos, darkness has a, a logic of its own. When somebody has sent darkness to you, regardless how is that shaped, a demon, uh, an entity, uh, a spirit, um, um, forms of existence without body, whatever type of uh, darkness it is, um, Essentially, those are um, um, entities which are owned by someone um, and by someone which works with darkness, obviously. Uh, and um, they starve them. Essentially, each type of darkness is being tasked to feed on a specific type of energy. Some it's feeding from soul pain. Some is feeding from anxiety some is feeding from low self-esteem some is feeding from um sexual type of um, um energy uh, some is feeding from depression that's an exact that's a type of energy that's a type of darkness feeding from the energy of depression you uh, when you're depressed you put out a certain type of energy and that type of darkness is feeding from it and because I already explained and revealed this, um, uh, the fact that I um, do energy diagnosis and I see uh, all types of darkness and I see them, how they feed, how they uh, inflict pain, how they um, create things. I, I can see the darkness actually is actually doing levitation on you uh, and is always saying to you, you want to die, you want to die. You want to kill yourself. This is not your thought. This doesn't come from you. This is something which is being uh, placed uh, in your mind by constant levitation. Um, so uh, you must reconsider this kind of thoughts because this is part of the spiritual fighting. And I must tell you, I'm a very resilient and very um, strong-willed person. Um but throughout my spiritual fighting, I have encountered this kind of darkness as well. Although I would never do it. I would never uh, kill myself. But I encountered this kind of, uh, of darkness. Um, so I actually know from personal experience that if a darkness is being sent to you to feed on you, and they don't find the type of energy which they seek, um, that darkness will torture you and will work on you tirelessly until uh, they create on you a type of wound or trauma uh, in order to uh, generate the type of energy which they need. Uh, so you need to understand, I mean, um, people working with darkness, I'm pretty sure they don't really fully understand what they're doing. I'm telling you, because uh, if you look at them, most of them are not able to face the darkness which are they are sending to others. Um, anyhow, now turning back to death. And when you uh, consider suicide, you must understand what death really means. Uh, because uh, I hope that will change your mind. Now, when death occurs for a human body, for a human, essentially is that uh, soul goes to God always. Most times, um, God is taking the soul because um, of continuous repetitive uh, wrongdoings. Um, and so you won't uh, hurt uh, the soul basically too much and put too much bondage on that soul. Um, so usually when you die, the soul already left the body. So first, the soul, or sometimes you lose the soul. 
is not God who takes it. You just lose the soul because of too much pain, because of too much trauma, because of, um, you know, it, 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 there, there is a process in which, in which you can lose your soul because of being harmed for too long, because of um, too much soul trauma and so on. Um, so usually the soul disappears first, but whatever, irrespective of how it disappears, the soul goes to God. You must know this. Now, what you have left then, it's a human body with a spirit. You only have the spirit and the body. Um, now, when you don't have a soul, uh, and there are many soulless people, um, there's a disconnect between you and your higher self. Because the soul is how you connect to your higher self. So when you only have the spirit and the human body, um, usually humans start doing really wrong things. Really wrong things because um, they don't really have the um, uh, soul connection to their higher self to understand that this is not something good. There are consequences to this. There are consequences on others, but there are consequences on yourself. These are the humans who actually are lacking any kind of empathy. And they lack empathy because they don't have a soul. Literally. Okay. Uh, now, I made video and I wrote a lot explaining that God is working with each individual. Once you lost your soul, you can recover that soul. God will work with you only when you have a soul. Because you cannot hear God without a soul. Now, God will be able to send to you a soul if you evolve in a positive direction because God will never send you a soul if you keep doing harm and to others you know but usually God has shown me that even the people who do a lot of harm they have moments uh, of repentance when they cry and they pray to God and they feel sorry for what they did and whatever so God usually ta uh, takes those opportunities to send souls to those individuals but if they return to doing harm to others then they will lose the soul again okay so this again it's a process it's not white and black you lost your soul it's done there is there are chances to receive your soul back uh, and to evolve but it depends on the choices you make if you keep making the same choices you're going to lose the soul again okay now when you have only your human body and the spirit again your, your human body um, slowly, gradually uh, enters into a process of entropy. Yeah? Uh, the more harm you do, the more darkness you drag onto you. It's not that you just send darkness to others. You know, uh, again, as I said in previous video, when you send darkness to others, darkness is claiming you. So, therefore, there is darkness within you because you sent darkness to others. A darkness creator will not be um, a pure person. So when you really want to do harm to others, sending darkness to them, keep in mind that the type of darkness you have sent to that individual is claiming you and will be in your energy field. Okay? Now, while that individual stands more chances to um, fight against that darkness because he's innocent, you are the darkness creator. So because of that, your fight is going to be much more complicated because, as I said before, if a darkness uh, uh, claims you because you have done with free will a certain thing, God cannot help you unless you yourself um, make choices to come back into light, do the wrong, the right thing, uh, right the wrong you've done, go to the one you, you persecuted and give back what you stole. Um, if you didn't steal and you just sent darkness, you must find ways to repent yourself and to right the wrongs you've done to that individual. Um, anyhow, the point is, you have darkness in your field once you are a darkness creator. And it's much more difficult for the creators of darkness 
to get rid of that darkness because they have chose that path with free will. Their struggle is much more complicated than the ones um, who are innocent. Um, so, um, as, you, as you put up uh, with that fight, um, unless you gain your soul back, you become a vampire because you do not create light. You don't have a soul, right? Uh, so you're going to keep doing harm and uh, more and more harm. Uh, you're gonna By that, you're going to draw more and more darkness upon you. And by that, your human body enters into entropy, which can be um, a rushed process or a gradual slower process, depending on how much darkness, how much harm you do onto others, depending on your behavior and so on. Um, and when you literally die, is either because your body uh, went through an entropy uh, to the last bit of it, and then you died. This is the when people die of diseases, of old age, of whatever. This is how um, death comes, uh, basically, when you enter into your body enters into uh, entropy, or you develop diseases because of darkness which you have in your body. So uh, know that purity is not just something like you value. Uh, something abstract is something with the very physical consequences on you uh, the purity of your energy and this is related to your intentions and your actions um, or of course that can occur suddenly if you keep sending death spells to me each and every single fucking day of your life you must know that that death energy comes back to you and takes hold of you. you. People must understand what they're doing. You cannot send death spells uh, and death curses and death uh, rituals uh, and sacrifice rituals to other individuals and expect that your energy field will be pure or healthy. You must understand this. Uh, so death can occur also suddenly because of something very wrong that you are doing, you know, or something very wrong that others are doing on you, something like that. Now, when this occurs, when, when death really occurs, um, it depends very much where you are in your uh, spiritual process of evolution. Um, if you are with God or you, or you are claimed by darkness. What happens if you claim by darkness? And this is important for those who contemplate suicide. Um, darkness claims uh, your spirit. So your spirit cannot go to God. It is being claimed by darkness. Even if your soul went to God. And this is, um, this is the torture that you will experience even after death. When your spirit uh, is being claimed and used by darkness um, and um, your soul is with God. Because even if you, your soul is with God, is under huge pain because of the spirit. And this is why uh, we witness and experience reincarnation. It's in order, your soul is coming back um, to save the spirit. Because you need to integrate soul and spirit and to be with God uh, as a whole. Right, uh, but you come to break bondage because of this, because darkness has been claiming uh, your spirit for one reason or another. It can also happen innocent. If you're innocent, you haven't done wrong on others, but still you don't know about bondages done on you, or you you refuse to learn about bondages done on you, and you refuse to put up the spiritual fighting. You will experience exactly this. Um, uh, this situation where your spirit is being claimed by darkness okay and again that is a very uh, painful experience even if your soul is with god and even if you're innocent you you this is why you need to do the spiritual fighting you need to do the bondage breaking this is why you came here you came here because your soul was although was with god in light was tortured by um either by your own doings and the spirit is with the darkness, or even if your spirit is integrated with uh, your soul and is with God in light, 
because of uh, bondage is created by darkness, which is still claiming your spirit. So you came to fight to clear your name and to get divine justice. So you cut off all darkness claims on you if you're innocent. If you have done wrong, then you come here to fucking pay the karma and still clear your name, redeem yourself, get your spirit and go to God as a whole. Okay, so this is the process. Now, what happens with the spirits which are being owned by darkness? And these are the individual who have done wrong. And this is why the darkness is claiming their spirit. What well, they are being used in necromancy by 3D individuals. Much of the attacks are being done through necromancy. You must know. And this is using uh, spirit, uh, the spirits of the dead people. And uh, they use the spirits of the dead people in different ways. Uh, one way is, uh, especially for those dead uh, people that um, have high status in these convent uh, things, which they keep, uh, and masonry and all masonic uh, organizations and so on, they do necromancy uh, using uh, the spirits of the dead people to make fake embodiments. Because those uh, dead... Uh, have a very high ranking uh, position uh, and if they, this is why they make bondages in order to steal their ranking and their of course the benefits associated with the ranking right um, and also they use um, the spirits of the dead people to launch attacks on individuals um, so it's basically a practice of keeping uh, spirits trapped um, and using them. Uh, and this is, so all of this is a very complex process. And I'm, I'm describing this for all those who actually are contemplating suicide, particularly for that individual who wrote uh, on my comment uh, uh, to understand, because he was saying, you know, if you, uh, if you uh, do suicide, uh, it's a sin. But then it's done and you cannot do redemption anymore. And uh, I make this video for uh, to answer that you can still do redemption. If you do suicide, you just make your redemption much more complicated. Because um, you by your own will, you gave your spirit to darkness through suicide. Okay? Because God didn't send you here to take your life, to commit murder, because that's a murder. It's you on yourself, but still it's a murder. Your purpose here is to break the bondage, to go through the spiritual fighting, so you can transmute the darkness. Instead of that, you decide to take your life that feeds the darkness, and you will be trapped and used by darkness. This is not a sin, as I said in another video. This is not a sin. It's just a very bad choice you make which makes um, your redemption much more complicated. Um, and you will suffer the consequences. Uh, from my own experience, God doesn't look at uh, choices made by people in terms of sin. It looks at them as very bad choices, uh, very faulty choices, um, some of them evil choices, um, made uh, to harm others. Uh, and he will punish that. Okay? Uh, the concept of sin, it's something that the church created. They're just good and bad choices. Uh, the bad choices will harm others, but will ultimately harm you as well. Because you will be punished. Justice will be made. One way or another. Uh, and regardless how much harm you succeeded to inflict upon innocent people you must know that you will suffer more than them because for them as they have god and the divine realm next to them although painful they will get help and they will succeed but for you it's a struggle to even get uh, to to get to connect to the divine because you yourself chose to position yourself uh, uh, in the realm of darkness so because of that uh, of course you don't hear God 
you know, but then make the right, the right choices and you will hear God. You see, it's not that complicated. Um, so, um, I think so far at this point in time, this is what I, I wanted to point out. And especially for that individual who made that comment, um, suicide is not a sin, but it's a very bad choice, which takes your spirit uh, into an enslavement in the realm of darkness, uh, which makes it much more complicated for you. You will have to come back into another incarnation to fight to take back your spirit. But even that fight will be so hard because you made this choice, giving power to the darkness over your spirit, which makes it very difficult for you to fight to get it back. So it's, it's just a very, very bad choice. That's all. And you must know this is not something that comes from you. This is something which is being inflicted upon you by darkness. Uh, it's a levitation, but a, by a certain type of entity, which keeps repeating you to you that you this is a way out. This is a way to find peace. But you're not going to find peace. You must know your spirit will be used in a commandcy, and will be sent here to harm others, uh, and will suffer uh, continuously. Um, and um, your soul will have to come incarnate uh, in order to save your spirit and will go through such horrible uh, spiritual fighting because you're going to have to fight principalities <coughs> which claim dominion over you. You must know this. So it's much more complicated. Uh, anyone who thinks that suicide makes it easy, uh, it's a very wrong uh, thought. Uh, it makes everything more complicated and um, it doesn't exempt you from the spiritual fighting. You're going to have to incarnate again and you're going to have to come take your spirit back. Uh, that's the point. Uh, you, need, you need to understand. But just know that your spiritual fighting will be so much more complicated and more difficult. Uh, as long as you're here in an incarnation... You still have chances. You just have to turn to God and redeem. Uh, do repentance. Do right. Uh, there are so many ways in which you can actually uh, gain points uh, in your spiritual fighting, you know. And uh, I always give the example, which I only encountered in um, India and Nepal, uh, namely where people constantly are educated even, uh, from very young age, to think of their uh, karmic um, uh, debt, if they have one, uh, and their lineage karmic debt. So in India and Nepal, you will find individuals who do certain things, charity and stuff. And, and I encountered one individual as I was talking only, I was seeking actually to go to India um, and, and relocate there in 2019. And somebody was, uh, an individual was very nice offering the information and offering to help and so on. And I asked myself, oh, yeah, that's very nice of you. Why would you do this? And he was saying that essentially, you know, uh, that he's um, working for his karma. He's essentially working for his karma. Um, so there are many ways in which you can, um, you can uh, redeem yourself. Uh, you should just turn to God, not think of suicide, because, uh, again, you can do it, but it's it makes your life much more complicated afterwards, because you will come back here, and you will have to uh, put up a really, really complicated fight uh, in order to take back your spirit. Okay, I'm going to stop here now, because it's already a half an hour uh, video. I encourage you to go read my um, prophetic writings on Facebook, on uh, this topic because I was much more detailed in explanations there. Um, and uh, if not, I will um, see if I can come back uh, to this topic uh, once again because it's a very broad topic. For now, I think God has somebody who needs to hear this. Um, and uh, I just basically was guided to give uh, briefly uh, the concepts. Uh, I hope it helps. I hope not many individuals entertain the idea of suicide. Um, 
and I'll, I'll um, uh, make sure to come back with another video with um, follow up on different concepts of divine wisdom which God considers important right now. These are topics guided to me by God uh, as I understand these are um, topics which in this particular timing are useful uh, to be thoroughly understood by different people dealing with different situations uh, but all of these situations are being generated by the process of divine justice um, and particularly some some of the individuals uh, are under judgment and punishment so they need to understand how to cope with some of these things thank you for being on my channel if you want uh, to support my work you find the information in the description uh, box below about my PayPal account.